hey, this video right here is about self-esteem. Okay, and I talk about this a lot on this channel. But, you know, this is important because after narcissistic abuse, of course, our self-esteem took a hit because, you know, we were abused. We were emotionally, psychologically, probably physically and sexually abused. All right. So we had to heal from that. But here's the thing for all of you that think you're ready to go back out there and start dating and building these friendships. Do not do it until your self-esteem has recovered. And the reason why, of course, if it's still in a low state, you're going to accept things that you shouldn't be still accepting. Okay. How will you know? <clears throat> How will you know if your self-esteem is in a low state or a high state, if it's in the right place that it needs to be? If you can look in the mirror and sincerely and genuinely be proud of yourself, when you know that you have much to bring to the table and people should be honored to have your time, when you know your worth this is when your self-esteem is in the right place because you're not going to take the bs you will be offended by anyone that tries to bring the bs and the games your way so don't go back out there if you're still feeling rocky and shaky about yourself that means that you still need to be working on yourself to get to the right place and when I say work on yourself, it could be because you're just not there mentally, which means psychologically, or maybe you just need to work on yourself, period. Maybe some things you feel like could be better with yourself and you want to present a better version of yourself before you start dating again. You know, you men out there, sometimes the narcissistic women, they suck you dry financially and they leave your credit in shambles, your bank accounts depleted. And you might need to, you know, just have some you time where you focusing on rebuilding yourself financially, because we all know that men need to have that sh financial strength when they're trying to get a wife or have a serious relationship. You need to feel like you can be a provider. We know if that's off with you you're not going to be able to present yourself in the best way. Like, are you even going to be able to even afford to be dating? You know, you have to have yourself in order. It's okay to take that time to yourself because all y'all know that you can chase women all day, but if you chase some money, they're going to chase you anyway. You know, you're not going to be missing anything. The right woman will come, you know, in your presence and you go for her but you don't have to do things out of order, okay? That was just one example that I wanted to give there. But, you know, you have to be able to look in the, the mirror, point blank, and be proud of yourself and to know that you are bringing much to the table, okay? It should insult you when someone tries to give you less than what you deserve. And you know, you should know what you deserve because in my last video, I'm talking about setting standards, have high standards. If you are a high quality person, you should have high standards. Why not? Why should anybody be able to have access to you? That's not how that works. That's not how that works in life. And if it is, that means that person is selling themselves short. You're giving the discount. You got to know your worth. That's why people say that. And it sounds like such a cliche, but how many people really know their worth anymore? Because you will command a certain behavior. You will command a certain atmosphere. You will not squat. You will not lower yourself, okay? So until you can look in, in the mirror and basically feel like, you know what, I'm the ish. And I'm not talking about on some narcissistic level. That doesn't make you a narcissist to think that you're beautiful inside and out, to know your worth, to know that you're bringing much to the table and you're not going to be settling. That doesn't make you a narcissist. 
Because somewhere in society, they have that, you know, if you loving yourself too much, if you treating yourself too, if you're, you know, too wrapped up, quote unquote, in yourself, so what? If I want to go to the spa, if I want to work out twice a day, if I want to get plastic surgery, that doesn't make you fake if you wanted to do something to improve yourself. Just like I tell you to pray and meditate, we do internal and we do external. And I'm not by any means or standards telling anyone to get plastic surgery. I think we're all wonderful and fearfully made. But I'm not saying that you can't take advantage of a technology if you felt like you needed it. If you wanted that. You're like, man, I'm feeling really great on the inside, but I want to spiff up my outside. I want my outside to look like my inside. I'm feeling good on the inside now, Ikea. Now I want to, you know, I want to be working out. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to get some new outfits. That's fine. All that love you, you were spilling into the narcissist, you could spill it into yourself. You shouldn't be loving anyone more than yourself. You don't ever give anyone in a romantic relationship, 100% of yourself, you always come first. And you and some people are going to be like, oh, that's so selfish. It's so selfish. No, you can put yourself first and still be a great partner. Because no one should love you more than you love you. And that's just real. It's just that we've been conditioned a lot. Oh, you got to give someone your all and give them what's appropriate. But if you give somebody your all, what do you have left for you? Okay? That's where the problems start occurring. All these cliches, they just need to be crashed. All this unconditional love. No! Imagine if you gave the narcissist unconditional love. They would be still in your life, right? Because there's no conditions on it. You can disrespect me. You can talk to me any old kind of way. You can X, Y, Z, do all this stuff to me. It's unconditional, right? No, there's conditions. Yeah, you're, yeah there's conditions. You got to respect me. Okay, you got to be faithful and loyal to me. You know, everybody has their conditions. Okay, you have to be independent. You have to have your own Okay, everyone has their conditions and you need to. All this unconditional love, giving somebody your all. I can give somebody a whole lot without giving them my all. I get my all. My all goes to me, but I'm going to love you. I can grow to love you in the appropriate time. You have to earn that. You have to earn my love. You have to earn my trust. Let people earn. Okay, but I don't want to digress in this video. The whole point of it was, it was just for me to throw out there, you need to be able to look in the mirror. If you can't do that yet, that means that you're not ready. Because people ask me, when am I ready to date again? When am I ready? When you can look in, when you got yourself together, and you can look in the mirror and you're proud of yourself and you know your worth and you feel, and you're, and you're happy. Not when you're lonely not when you're horny, okay? That's your flesh. That's your flesh. And, and you need to have control over your flesh. A person that's on a higher realm of operating has control over those things. They can recognize the fleshly side of them and they can separate that from their intellect and their logic and their common sense, okay? Okay? All right, guys. Until next time, take care.